in data. The device communicate with one another for the purpose of sharing information and sharing resources. When you send a message, you use a network. When you store files online, you use a network. When you stream a video or attend a virtual meeting, you rely on a network. Nearly every digital activity depends on a network. Networks operate through the rules known as protocols. One of the most important set of protocols is TCP IP. It breaks information into small packets, transmits them across the network, and reassembles them at the destination. Types of networks Number 1. LAN, the local area network. It covers small areas, homes, classrooms, offices. Your home Wi-Fi is a simple local area network. Second, a wide area network. It spans large geographical regions, cities and countries, even the entire globe. The internet is the largest wide area network in existence. Number three is PEN, a personal area network. This is a short range network around one individual. For example, your phone connecting to your wireless headphones. Everyday use cases. The everyday use cases of a network is sending documents, accessing cloud storage, running business applications, collaborating with teams online. All of these activities rely on networks to function smoothly. So let's look at why networks are essential. The computer network supports communication. They enable efficient data sharing. They connect organizations across the world. They allow remote work. They power modern services from healthcare to banking. In short, networks are foundational to our digital world. Now let's conclude this topic. So what